Hi, welcome to CACL. My name is Lisa. We're New Zealand's headset experts. Today I'm going to take you through the setup of a Jabra 9330 wireless headset and it's set up on a telephone that needs a lifter. Um, that means the lifter gives you remote answer ability. That means you can answer your, your telephone calls with your headset remotely just by pushing a button, that button there on the headset, and you can hang up. So what we'll do is we'll start with what comes out of the box. So you'll get all your setup guides and manuals. You'll get the headset, the microphone boom arm, a battery, an ear hook, the telephone RJ to RJ cord. You'll also get your uh, power adapter and the base unit. Now, with the lifter, you shall also receive the lifter out of the box. That will come separately. So what we'll do is, you need to make a choice first whether you want to wear a headband or the ear hook. So my choice today, I'll put the headband aside, I'm going to use the ear hook. To set that up for the headset, take your battery and the microphone arm, line up the prongs with the slots, they're getting the shapes together, slide up, similar to fitting a light bulb. Put that aside, oh, and then what we'll do is attach your ear hook. Now with the ear hook, you can, it's simple, any of the wearing option styles, you can just simply pull them apart, push them together. There's a circle on the back of the battery, and it simply goes in. Then you can rotate it around to get the right angle towards your mouth. Putting that aside, what I'll do then is take the base unit, gently put your fingers under the rectangle at the back, come around to the side, squeeze like a childproof bottle if you're trying to undo it, and then take it off. With your telephone, this is a curly handset cord. Unplug it from the telephone. So that is either normally on the side or possibly underneath it. Then we'll take that curly cord and plug it into the port on the base unit, which has a picture of a handset. That's the second one in from my right, so your left in TV land. Then we'll take the cable, which has the two RJ plugs, which is a telephone cable. On the base unit, plug it into the far port on the right, so which is your left, and it's got a picture of the telephone. This then gets plugged into the telephone where you just recently pulled out the curly cable, curly cord for the handset. Then what I'd like to do is take the power unit, plug in your power adapter, don't turn it on, safety first, and then plug the power in to the power socket, which is central, sort of within those ports. Then we take the last part of the equipment, we take the, the lifter. I'll talk about the lifter for a minute. There's three functions on the lifter. First of all, you have the rubber button at the front of it, and that controls whether or not you hear the ringing of the telephone in your ear. If you sit at your desk all day, you might not want to hear a double lot of ringing. Then, the, so with that one, it's just push on and push off to hear the ringing. Then you have the volume control for that pickup volume, so how loud you hear that ringing in your ear. Um, we suggest to turn the dial at the back, right at the back to the, um, the lowest volume, and just do a half turn, and that's sufficient normally for most people. The third function is a plus and minus on top of the lifter. This controls how high the handset will lift up. Ideally, you just want it to lift up so the button is clear, so you'll get a dial tone. If it's too high, typically the handset can fall off, and that can be rather frustrating. So I suggest you to go back to the minus, do two, two small movements forward. One, two. There we are. Okay, now we're ready to put that on. When you're putting on the lifter, peel off the double-sided tape and put it onto the flat part of the speaker underneath where the handset lifter is. Now I've cheated, I've used a bit of blue tack here so that I can redo it. Okay. And then put your handset Put your handset back down and take the cable coming out of the lifter and plug it into the auxiliary port which is marked AUX on the base unit. Now what we do is we take our headset 
and we put the headset in. Um, with the headset and putting it into the, the base unit, it's, you need to guide it down gently into the groove and put it into the charging terminal. The charging terminal are the prongs there. Now if people push down too hard, those can bend and that is not covered under warranty if they bend. So you just have to be gentle with them and guide them down. Don't force anything. Now, um, what we'll do then, with the headset in the charging panel on the base, turn on your power. The light should flash up, the blue light should come on, the green lights will flash up once, and then you should have a flash on the headset, and then eventually you will see the green LEDs show up. So we'll just wait for those. Should be any second now. Blue light flashes at the top of the headset, and then the green lights come on. The green lights here are all solid, all four of them. That means my headset battery is fully charged. When you have a brand new one, it won't be, so you need to leave it for three hours to completely charge. When they're flashing, that means they are currently charging. So the best thing to do is to set up in the afternoon, just before you go home, come in in the morning, and then it will be ready for you to finish the rest of the setup. So, being fully charged, I pick up my headset and I will push the button where it says GN9330 and that should lift my, lift my handset lifter that means I should have a clear dial tone to ring out if I haven't got a clear dial tone I will just pop the headset down but you'll need to keep your headset near your ear for this but not right up close, just hold it now if you haven't got a clear dial tone you need to change these channels on the base unit so where there's a lever and it goes from A to G a is a factory setting, and G and A cover 90% of telephone systems in New Zealand. B tends to be for Cisco, some most Cisco phones. Work through those channels till you have a clear dial tone. When you have a clear dial tone, make your first phone call to a colleague or friend, and you just want to play with the volumes to get them correct. So the receiver volume, the voice that you'll be listening to, is controlled by this little lever on the headset, so you can push it forwards or back very easily. You can change that midway in the conversation and it won't affect the other person. Then, you want to change, you want to play with the volume in the microphone, so you'll see the little microphone in there. So to do this, it's the grey dial underneath the cover, there's a plus and minus. If you can hear your own voice and a bit of feedback, you need to turn the volume down a bit. Um, so adjust that until it's comfortable for the other person at the other end of the line and when you're both comfortable with what you can hear then pop your cover back on. To put the cover back on slide the two corners in and then push the back down. I have, <laughs> I've just pressed my button in so I, okay it goes down. Now also when you're on the telephone the lifter goes up so that is that control. You might want to use the mute option. So if I press the volume lever but directly into the top of the headset, like that, I'll get the red LED on the front of there. That's a pair of lips with a line through and that means that the that mute is in operation and you can have an offline conversation and people won't hear you. To turn it off, do the same thing. Push it in quite firmly, push it straight down into the headset to turn it off. Okay, if for some reason that you can't get a clear dial tone um, or something happens to your headset and someone has done something, you can try and reset up again but there is a pairing button on the side. So what you do is you pop your headset in. Now if you've got lights on here but you don't have a clear dial tone, you can push this button in hold it down for five seconds and eventually you'll see a blue flash like that at the top of your headset and that means that your headset is paired. That is about it for the setup of the 9330 with a handset lifter. If you have any other queries please feel free to contact us. Free call in New Zealand it's 0508 222553 that's 0508 222 We're also on YouTube and Google and we have a website with all the videos to download. The website is www.cackle.co.nz. That's cackle spelled C-A-C-K-L-E. Thank you very much for your time and we look forward to hearing from you in the future. Good luck with your 9330. Happy